Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal, we got some more clay out here. And today we're going to be comparing the 300 blackout, that's the big one, versus the 223 or 556. But these are both lead tipped hunting rounds. And I got Federal Power Shock for both of these, they changed their label. But it's the same round, you can see. For the 300 blackout, it's a 150 grain, and for the 223, it's a 55 grain. So these are both meant with meant for hunting. You see on the, the 223, they have a little squirrel or a prairie dog there. Then on the 300 blackout, they have a picture of a deer. So I absolutely would like to take a deer with my 300 blackout. I might try to do that this year. Comment down below if you want to see it. But 223 versus the 300 blackout against this clay. If you're new and you haven't seen some of the other videos, go check them out. We have shot clay this size. These are 10 pounds, 25 pound, big old blocks of clay with tons of calibers already. If there's one you wanna see, we might've already done it. Go check out the channel. But 223 versus 300 blackout, lead tip, both supersonic rounds. Let's see what they do to the clay. Real quick, just to give you something to compare it to, I'm gonna slide in a nine millimeter hollow point on this exact type of block to give you something to compare it to. Check out what a nine millimeter did already. All right, there's the nine millimeter. First, I'm gonna shoot the 223. It says it's going over 3,200 feet per second while I'm looking at them. Before I forget, says the 300 blackout is 1,900 feet per second. So pretty fast for 300 blackout, but 3,200 feet per second. This is 55 grainer 223. Let's see what happens with the clay. All right, this is my 556. Five, see, I, I normally keep it loaded up with that steel case stuff in case things go down, but I got that brass federal in there. I'm gonna be firing it out of my CMMG Resolute. Five, five, six. Let's uh, see if we can hit that clay. I think I can hit it. Hopefully I hit it square. Let's give her some zoom. We need four power zoom for 10 yards. Wow, that was cool. That was real cool. It came back and hit me. Some of it hit me. See that all over my shirt? Man, that fast bullet, bam! But let's go check out the damage quick. So, walking up to it, the clay is gone, but check that out. It did not go through. Well, yes, it did go through. I want to say that's the top of it laying on the ground. Like it just literally blew the top off. That might have been the clay. But uh, there's a piece of fresh clay that blew way over here. I don't know, that's like five feet maybe. And then a ton of it on the ground. Some of it came back and hit us. But I'm pretty sure that's the top of it. Y'all let me know from the slow motion if that's the top. But back here behind it, there's a little fresh piece right there. But other than that, man, that clay is gone. That impressed me. It's that speed, man, that gets it. That was really cool. I did not expect that. What I said, that was going 3,200 feet per second. Let's go grab the 300 blackout, 150 grain bullet, a little less than three times the weight and going about 1,900 feet per second. But still lead nose, see what happens with it. All right, now this is my 300 blackout. This is also a CMMG Resolute. Same barrel length for all you jokers always complaining about the barrel lengths. Exact same barrel length on this one as the other one. And there's those 
federal, what did I say those were called, power shocks. Let's see if I can hit that thing, same distance, right there. Hopefully this one doesn't come back and get me like the other one did. Wow. Wow. I literally think it did the exact same thing. Pretty much. Blew the top off. The gun just wasn't as loud. Well, let's go check it out. Let's go check out the 300 blackout damage. I was just telling Paul, I think that that actually did more damage. But let's check it out. So that right there, that was the piece from the 223. This is actually from the 300 blackout and I'm pretty sure that's the same thing it blew the top off but look at how flat this one is versus this one you can still see the square on top with the 223 this one is almost flattened out completely but you can still see those ridges but same way there's nothing there and I see a few little extra bits over there. Oh, check this out. That same piece. I think this is from the 300 Blackout and that was the 223. I'm pretty sure. But, honestly, both of those surprised me. Pretty cool. You guys are always suggesting all kinds of comparisons. That's one of the biggest ones that I've gotten in the request from you guys on Instagram, Facebook, and everywhere else. While I'm bringing it up, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And I always like bringing those two rifles out, 556, 300 Blackout. Some of the most common ones that you guys have. But like I said, those both surprised me. I think I'm picking 300 Blackout. The only bummer with 300 Blackout is the ammo costs a whole lot more. Yeah. Like a whole lot more. But I appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description down below. Go check out all the other clay videos if you haven't seen them already. A big shout out and a big thanks to Heavy Metal. Y'all go down below and subscribe to their channel. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hoo -hoo.